Okay, we have a uh, 96 Honda Civic come in for a routine maintenance. We're going to do a uh, valve adjustment on it. Tell you how we just pull the tire off. Take a half inch drive ratchet extension and a 17 millimeter socket. Right through this little hole, you can get onto the crank and that'll turn the motor over for you. Pull the plug wires off. Those back here. And the valve cover bolts. screwdriver, pry bar, whatever you can get. Hey, what I'm doing is just turning this to get it lined up on number one so I can start adjusting valves. There's a little tiny line that goes through the cam gear on the back of both sides and you want to have that flush with the head to start. And that means you're either on number one or number four. And if all your valves are loose on one, then you know you're on one. While you're turning it over you want to look for these little lines back here on the back of the cam gear. There's just a little bitty straight mark cut into the cam gear and you want to have these flush with the head. Once you get that lined up you'll check. You'll either be on number one or number four but whatever the valves that are loose on that cylinder that's the one you're on. We're on number one. Number four is tight. You can't move them. So you're not on that cylinder. We're on number one. Then you adjust number one right now. Why we want it like that? We want it loose so we're off the cam lope. We're all the way off the lope and that, that's how we can adjust the valve. Now we adjust the valve to the specs, whatever they want. Go ahead and check your service manual specs and find out what your uh, gap is supposed to be. This is 7 on the intake and 9 on the exhaust so we're going to check them and see if they're loose. And they are. You need to know how to find your exhaust valves and your intake valves. Your exhaust manifold is on this side so this is obviously your exhaust valves and your intake is on this side so these are your intake valves they are pointing towards your intake, your injectors and stuff like that so that's your intake side <coughs> that's the way you know. Using a filler gauge here 9 thousandths for the exhaust, 7 thousandths for the intake. Slide this under here See that's loose, so we'll go ahead and break these loose. That's too tight. Just back that off a little bit. Or we can turn it. You want to make sure your center don't move while you're tightening it up. Once you tighten this up, you want to make sure and hold that with your screwdriver so your center don't move. And then you check. And that feels good. Then we'll do the same thing on this one. That one feels good. Okay, here we're going to do the other side. We already got the valve cover off. A lot of guys like to just check them. And if they're okay, they'll just go on. But since we got the valve cover off, we might as well do them.
So here we got these done. And another thing you want to do is don't set them too tight. If you set them too tight, you'll burn a valve. A lot of guys like to set them too tight so they don't have to adjust them no more. But then you'll burn a valve. Once you have number one done, then you move on to the next one. But you won't move directly to number two. You'll go with the firing order, whatever the firing order is for this car. The firing order is one, three, four, two for this car. So the next one we'll do is number three, and then we'll do number four, and then we'll do number two. But how you get there, once you have it lined up on number one, if you take your ratchet like this, and you're straight up and down, move this ratchet down to a quarter of a turn, 90 degrees, just like that, and that will be your next cylinder. And then so on another quarter turn, and that'll be your next cylinder, and so on and so on. Now we're going to the next uh, cylinder to adjust those valves, which is number three from number one. So, let's go down. Quarter turn. And we should be ready. Now these valves are ready to be adjusted. And they're loose as well. All you do to adjust it is you just turn this until you feel it drag a little bit on there. That's too tight. You'll feel it. You can barely move it. That's too tight. Just back it off a little bit. And then there will be. And then you just hold that and tighten that nut up. There you go. So once you complete this one on this one, you do another quarter turn and move to your next cylinder, which would be four, another quarter turn, move to two, and then you're done with it. And that's how you do a regular service valve adjustment on a solid lift cam in a Honda.